to our conversation about two levels of organizational control. So we are talking about strategic control and operational control, which we sometimes also call management control. These are our two levels. So we can give the example or an analogy of a captain steering a ship to clarify what these two levels are. The first one is the strategic control, which is in your orange box up top. The strategic controls will make sure that the ship is going in the right direction. Is the ship steering to the right destination? Management and operating controls make sure that the ship is in good condition before, during, and after the voyage. So the strategic control take us to the destination and the management slash operating controls make sure that the vessel is in good condition. So in the context of stewarding organizations, strategic control is the process by which an organization tracks the strategy as it is being implemented, okay? So we are trying to detect any kind of problems or challenges that we might have that indicate that the strategy is not the right one for our organization so that we can make any necessary changes or adjustments um, as needed. Strategic controls also allow the leaders of the organization to take a step back and to look at the entire picture, the big picture, to make sure that all of the pieces of that picture are correctly aligned. So generally, we are looking at a really large time span between that initial implementation of a strategy and the achievement of all of the intended results. So generally, a strategy is played out over three or five years. So for instance, if you have a ship going from San Diego on the west coast of the United States up to Seattle, which is a little bit north on the western coast, you would need a crew, you would need supplies, you would need fuel, etc., to make that journey. That journey might be delayed, however, because of weather issues. The captain might have to make sure that the trip is made safe, so they're delaying the voyage due to bad weather. Similarly, in large companies, there's a lot of projects that are being undertaken investments that the organization is doing and actions that we are taking to make sure that the strategy is implemented all at the same time, right? Meanwhile, however, the economy outside of the organization could either be booming or busting, right? So we could have a peak where the economy is growing or perhaps the economy is falling into a recession. That would be the same as the bad weather for the ship. So the strategic controls are really necessary to steer the firm through these events. They must provide some means of correcting direction based on intermediate performance and new information. So we're steering the strategic control to our destination. Operational control in your blue box, this is a process that's concerned with executing the strategy as laid out. So when we are putting in to place these operational controls, they will function within the framework that is established by the strategy. So the strategy is the frame, like the picture frame, and the operational controls sit inside that frame. These goals, objectives, and standards that are our operational controls will be established for all the major subsystems in an organization, such as a business unit, a project, a product, a function, responsibility centers, teams, etc. Typical organizational or management controls can include things such as return on investment ROI, net profits, costs, product quality, etc. These operational control measures are essentially summations of finer grained control measures. And then we take corrective action based on these operating controls as they might have implications for strategic controls when they involve changes to the strategy. So if things are happening operationally that is not going well, that should show up in our operating controls. And then as necessary, we will make changes to the strategic controls 
to make sure that we are executing on our strategy. So that's it for our two levels of organizational control. See you at the next one. Bye-bye.